Hi guys, welcome back to Kenganda News. My name is Joanita Maya and I am your host for today. But guys, before we go any further, I wanted to remind you that this video is sponsored by Shepherds. Shepherds is 100% cotton with 10 layers. That means total absorption for all the ladies out there. So why not grab yourself a pack? Now our first story for today is Scoop and Scoop, the show on Urban TV has been banned from the airways. Well, before we get to that big story, I want to give you guys a background as to what happened before the show was banned. Now we all know Tina, the presenter for Scoop on Scoop, is well known everywhere. I mean, if you're in Kampala and you don't know Tina, then I don't know what you're about. And we all know about Sheila Gashumba. Sheila Gashumba was a former TV presenter on NTV and she's also a socialite. Now Sheila Gashumba put up a certain trending topic on Twitter that is the hashtag stop cyberbullying. Now Sheila Gashumba was trying to insinuate that Tina was coming for her and spreading false information about her. You know we all had the stories about the abortion, about the boyfriend beating her up, all those sad stories. And Sheila was saying this particular presenter was pushing an agenda to try and make her look bad in the eyes of the public. Well, this particular war has been blowing up. So Sheila had someone record a phone call between that person and the producer of Kampala Sun and the producer of also Scoop on Scoop. Apparently they recorded this person saying yes. We're going to push the story, give us the money. They paid millions, I don't know, or something. They gave him money and apparently paid Tina 100K to push the story that Sheila had an abortion. Generally, it was like a propaganda to spoil Sheila's name. Now, we all got to see the videos on Twitter. We saw the videos. Everyone was shocked. I mean, these are journalists that we trust, you know, to give us, to be credible, to be reputable. And here they come. And they're being paid to push a certain story. I mean, I was shocked. Everyone was shocked. We just couldn't believe it. Now, on top of everything, this editor that was recorded saying he would push the agenda that Sheila had an abortion or the fake stories after getting paid came out on his Twitter. I think he has Bambi like few followers. He came out on Twitter and said, no, it's not what happened. They're lying and whatnot. But sometimes... You can see the evidence and tell for yourself. You know, you can know what's right and what's wrong. Now, Sheila went ahead to sue Tina, yes, for 400 million. So apparently, if Tina did not apologize to Sheila, then Sheila was going to take Tina to court and get a compensation for 400 million because, you know, her reputation was tarnished. Now, every time they've been tweeting, they've been tagging UCC. That is the body that gives the rules and regulations for all TV stations. Now, I think that caught their attention and they went ahead to now ban the show, Scoop on Scoop, off Urban TV. But Urban TV also went ahead and gave out a statement that they'll be back and better. Tina also went ahead and gave a statement that they'll be back and better. So yeah, that's where everything is. Now, for my opinion. You may not like it, you may like it. I mean, this is my opinion. My opinion is that both parties could actually come together and decide to, you know, end this whole thing because I think both of them are wrong. Well, to me, what I think is that sometimes Sheila can be a beast on Twitter, okay? She, she may look small and whatnot, but that girl can be a beast. She's like a tornado coming for you because we all saw what happened with Robin Christie when she was going in for her, you know? We also the abusers. So to me, I think Sheila can be a bully and Tina can also be a bully. Both of them are bullies, in my opinion, as a common Ugandan, okay? To me, both of them are bullies. So they should maybe come together, sit down and say, you know what? We've done wrong. We've done this. Apologize to each other and life should just go on normally. But I don't think they will do that anyway because they're not... If you see their personalities, I don't think they're the type of people to just sit down and, you know, negotiate or come to an understanding. Now, you may be on one side saying, oh, she does this, or Tina does this, or Sheila does this. 
Both of them have their wrongs. No human being is perfect. Tina is a beast on TV, yeah. Yo, you don't want to cross her path because she will end you. Sheila is a beast in her own right, you get? Like, both of them are just, they've had the ups and downs. Both of them have also bullied people somewhere. Like, both of them have done their wrongs, you get? But it's up to them to come together and end cyber bullying because that would be the greatest example for all because now on twitter we're having one side this other side exchanging like it's all unnecessary you know if they just come together hug it out sit on a show talk about it i mean all that would end and that would be the end of it so do tell me what you think in the comment section <music>